Hi, welcome to How To. I am Tanya with Marathon Industries, and today I am going to teach you how to put together the Yard Rover wheelbarrow. All you need to put this together is a crescent wrench and a flathead screwdriver. This is your axle and the mainframe, and the first thing you're going to do is slide the axle in through both ends, and we're going to put the first tire on. So obviously put the valve side out and we're going to slide the tire on. Now for each side we have a washer. Stick that on and a cotter pin that's going to hold the whole thing together here. Okay when you get the cotter pin through you can use your fingers or a screwdriver but you're basically going to split the end of the cotter pin so it does hold it on. So. so we've got both tires on. I wanna point out first, you're gonna get eight bolts. You've got two um, at a longer length, probably about two inches, and you've got six smaller ones. The six smaller ones, we're gonna start with one on each side to get the legs in. So you put that through like that, get the bolt in. Make sure you put the bolt facing in toward the center of the wheelbarrow. You've got, um, the two washers here, put the flat one first. And for the whole entire project, you're just gonna finger tighten these at first. You'll go back uh, later with the tools and tighten everything up. Little movie magic here, we've got both, both legs on. We're gonna put the back brace on. Whoops, gonna face this this way. Same thing, bolt goes through, facing in. Gonna get your washers on. And again, just tighten with your fingers so that you can uh, put it all together real tight when you're finished. Now it is time for the handle and the tray. You don't have to put the bolts in uh, for this just yet. You're just gonna get this steady on there. And this looks like a giant baby bathtub, but it's a tray for the wheelbarrow. So um, you're gonna line up the front holes first. It's just easier to get those, the bolts in here on the front end first. And again, with your washers and the bolts, and slide that through. Get your washers on. So we have attached the tray in the front, we're gonna to move to the back and get it attached back here. So you just, last two bolts, the long one and the shim. Let's make sure that you match the curve of the shim to the curve of the arm. And there's two holes, two holes in there. You're gonna use the top hole um, and get that fed through there. Again with the washers. Okay, we've got everything put together. You want to make sure before you go do any projects, use your tools. Tighten everything up before you move on to your landscaping projects. And that is the Yard Rover. Thank you for watching How To with Marathon Industries.